Now on this video, we are going to cover how to approach and solve four of your homework handouts. Uh, we are going to look at how do we approach and solve uh, electrical power problems, how do we approach and solve electrical energy and current, how do we solve resistance problems, and how do we solve the cost of electrical energy problems. So we're going to cover uh, quite a bit of information. The main things that you're going to get out of this video uh, is going to be the formulas that you're going to apply to these four homework assignments. We're going to uh, begin with our electrical power problems. Uh, going back over power as it relates to electricity, remember power equals our voltage times our current. And when we look at power equaling our voltage times our current, um, our units for power will be in watts. And you've had all of these formulas given to you. If you have not watched um, those videos yet, pause and write down uh, these formulas right here. Power equals voltage times current. Voltage equals current times resistance. Current equals voltage divided by resistance. Again, these are all um, relationships of current voltage um, and resistance and their relation to Ohm's law. And then power equals voltage squared divided by resistance. So make sure you have those written down. So that if you have not already written down some of these formulas, we've got some key formulas that you need to write down on your formula page. <clears throat> Obviously, this is going to be an important one. Power equals our volts times current. Power will be in uh, watts. Our volts will be in voltage. Our current will be in amperes. We have the formula volts equals current times resistance. Resistance is in units of ohms. We can rearrange our formula if volts is not present. We can have power equals our current squared times our resistance. This is Ohm's law. Uh, current equals volts divided by resistance. And then finally, power equals volts squared divided by resistance. So make sure you have these formulas down. They are critical formulas uh, for this chapter. And so as you begin solving your electric power homework sheet that has the questions, the problems one through six, you will be applying these formulas to those six problems. Uh, basic algebra, solve for x. Um, you do want to make sure that your power is always units of watts that your resistance is ohms, your um, volts is voltage, and your current is amperes. The next slide will be going over our next homework assignment, which is how do you approach and solve the current problems, the, the um, energy current problems one through six on your homework assignment number two. Electrical energy is the ability of an electrical circuit to produce work by creating an action. This action can take many forms, one of which being electrical energy. Remember from school that the law of conservation of energy must apply, and this states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it can change form. The nice thing about electrical energy is it's very versatile as it can be easily converted into many other different forms of energy. Now electrical charge is in units of combs and that the flow of electrical charge around a circuit is used to represent a flow of current. The symbol for this is Q because we don't want to confuse uh, a C combs with other um, symbols that are used in physics. And we want to use a capital Q because the little Q basically stands for uh, our charge of electrons. 
Now current is uh, the symbol I and the unit is amperes. And as we look at this, one ampere equals one comb over one second. So as you are solving your um, current problems, this is gonna be an important formula for you to use. Current will be in units of amperes. Q here is gonna be our charge, which is gonna be in units of combs. Our time will need to be in seconds. Now, because one ampere equals one comb over one second, that does allow for canceling out and we can solve these problems with a basic algebraic problem. So that we can take the equation, current equals our charge over time, and we can rearrange that so that our change in our charge would equal our current times our change in time. Now, in addition to that, we can at sometimes need to determine the number of electrons that are present in one of these current problems. And so we can set this equal to our number of electrons times the charge of electrons. So that if I sub this in in place of my change in um, my charges, I can have my um, number of electrons times my charge of electrons equaling my current times my change in time or I can rearrange it to um, my number of electrons equals my current times my change in time divided by my charge of electrons. And that's what I have right here. You should have your electron charge already on your formula page, but if you do not, I've got that right here. So here we have our number of electrons Our I is still going to be our current in amps. Our T will still be our change in time in seconds. And so as you approach your problems with um, the electric energy and current, current problems one through six, these are going to be the two formulas right here that you're going to need to use in order to solve the problem. So to uh, solve the resistance problems worksheet, uh, which has seven uh, problems on it, you're just going to basically be using uh, versions of these two formulas that I've placed here. Now we've talked about both of the formulas on the previous slides. So you'll have your current, your change in voltage, your resistance, or you may need to uh, be looking at your charge. And so you have your current you have your charge, which would be in combs, and then your time, and just make sure your time uh, is in seconds. So I would convert your time to seconds uh, before you ever plug that into your equation. Uh, but these are the two formulas that you will need to use for your resistance problems worksheet. So that any time we use electricity, we have to pay for that energy uh, that we used. And so we're charged by the electrical company for the power we used, and it's calculated and billed to us, usually in kilowatt hours. The formula that's used is energy equals power times time, where we have voltage times current times time, so that we would have kilowatt hours being written down kilowatt times hours. Let's look at a few examples. A coffee pot operates on two amps of current, on a 10 volt circuit for three hours, calculate the total kilowatts used. Well, we remember that power equals voltage times current. Work that out and we have our power. Then we're gonna um, convert our kilowatt, uh, our watts to kilowatts. So remember that one kilowatt equals a thousand watts. So I have that written out. And then we're gonna multiply the hours so we have our 0.22 kilowatts times the three hours that we used. And so 
we have calculated the total kilowatts that are used. Here we have a microwave oven operates on 5 amps of current on a 110 volt circuit for one hour. Calculate the total kilowatts. Well, we have our energy equals power times time, which is our voltage times current times time. So we're able to multiply the 110 volts times 5 amps times the one hour. We uh, work that out. We convert our um, watts to kilowatts and so we would have the uh, total kilowatts that's used. Now here we have the equation that you're going to be using on most of your homework that's cost of electrical energy where you have your total cost of electrical energy will equal your power and your power needs to be in kilowatts. If it's in watts remember one kilowatt equals a thousand watts and you need to go ahead and just convert that over at the beginning of your problem it'll make it much easier your change in time is however much time you have and that's going to be in hours and then your cost will be whatever that cost is given to you uh, 80 cents um, 90 cents 5 cents whatever it'll be that amount over uh, kilowatt hours when you solve these problems you will solve it algebraically based on whatever component is missing. Let's look at an example problem. We'll do problem number one. So here we have an example. This is problem number one. Ten reactors of the nuclear power station in Japan produce 8.8 .8 times 10 to the ninth watts of electrical power. I went ahead and converted that over to kilowatts, remembering that um, one kilowatt equals a thousand watts. So I've got my, my power there. Um, you have 1 times 10 to the 6th for your money. And I've got my total cost here. How many hours of the station's energy output can you buy? That's our unknown. Assuming the price is 0 0.081 kilowatt hours. So got my total, got my power, got my cost of energy. I've got uh, this is my unknown. I'm going to do the problem, uh, solve for it, and I'll let you solve for it. But when you get your answer, you should have 1.4 hours as your answer. And the problems uh, on this assignment really don't get much more difficult than this. I will tell you that um, you may be pulling uh, some of the formulas from previous. For example, power equals voltage squared over resistance. Uh, you may have to rearrange this equation, but that's about as difficult as these problems will get.